When Google announced Gemini Nano, the company had originally said they would not be bringing the feature to the base model of the Pixel 8. Now, for those who may not be familiar with what Google Nano is, I can hardly blame you. The company has announced the release of Gemini Ultra, Gemini Pro, Gemini Flash, and Gemini Nano. And now we're seeing revision updates to these. So each of them will have their own versions that get released to the public. Gemini Nano is the AI model that is designed to be run specifically on devices or in applications. For example, we've seen this AI model released for the Pixel 8 Pro and the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and we know that they are working on it for Chrome as well. Its goal is to perform specialized tasks directly on the device without needing to have your data sent off to the cloud. And honestly, I think this is what most people have expected to see out of mobile AI since Qualcomm started including their AI cores into their smartphone chips. It always seemed weird to see Google brag about various photo editing AI features within Google Photos, but then having to be connected to the internet in order to accomplish those tasks. So while Google had originally not planned to bring Gemini Nano to the regular Google Pixel 8 and Pixel 8a, the company has changed course on that decision and has begun working on such a release. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how we can activate Gemini Nano on the Pixel 8 smartphone. But before we can get into that, we first have a word from our sponsor. PlayStoreSales.com is the go-to website for finding the best Android apps and games that are currently on sale in the Google Play Store. Yes, there are a few other websites and apps out there that offer such a feature, but those are not filtered in any way. And that results in the app and game sale lists being full of icon packs, live wallpapers, widget apps, and even freemium games. And that doesn't happen here. So please visit www dot playstoresales.com and let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Now let's talk about how we can enable Gemini Nano on the Google Pixel 8 that I have right here. While the Pixel 8 Pro and Galaxy S24 Ultra are getting this feature automatically enabled, Google is still working on the performance for the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8a. So we need to manually enable this feature for now. And to do that, we first need to activate developer mode on the Pixel 8. This is done by tapping on the build number option from the about phone section about seven to 10 times. But if this is something you are not familiar with and you are curious to see how it is done, then please check the video description below as I'll have a link to a dedicated guide that I have done that will walk you through enabling the hidden developer options menu on Google Pixel devices. Once that has been completed, you can then find the secret menu by launching the settings application and then scrolling down so that we can see the system option. Then from here, we want to scroll all the way down again until you find the newly revealed developer options menu. Because this is where you will find the toggle to enable Android's AI core feature. So from this developer options menu, we simply need to scroll through this page here. Right around whenever you start to see the force peak refresh rate and allow mock modem toggles, you should then see an AI core setting. So if we're, we're going to tap into this menu here, 
and this toggle will be disabled by default while Google is working on bringing these features to the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8a. But we can manually enable it with a simple tap. Now sadly, as of recording this video, I am unable to find any features that actually run on Gemini Nano with the Google Pixel 8. From what I've read, this is because Google is continuing to work on the feature and it needed some additional tweaks for performance and battery usage. But I have heard that it may be introduced in the next Google Pixel feature drop. However, enabling this toggle right now should grant you access to those features the moment they become available to us. We haven't heard any updates from Google about when this may happen, so it's a good idea to go ahead and enable the toggle right now. That way, once the feature is ready, you will have instant access to Gemini Nano without needing to mess with this toggle again.